All right, guys, today I'm going to be explaining to you the process of piston protrusion. Now, the videos that I found on YouTube that were specifically for Cummins were a little bit confusing. So I'm going to simplify this for you a little bit. So this is the tool that I'm using. This I bought this off of Summit Racing, and this is honestly just a dial indicator gauge that I've had. Um, Flower is actually the brand name tool of this. Now, when you put the dial indicator into the bridge, you want it on the center, and you want to really crank down the, this piece that locks this onto the bridge because you don't want any kind of error. You also want to make sure that your block and the top of your pistons are wiped clean just to make sure you don't have any error. This specification for our Cummins is 6 to... Six to nineteen thousandths, and that is from my diesel laptops Cummins manual that I got off of diesel laptops. So we're just going to do cylinder two and cylinder five because those are the ones that are up right now. They're companion cylinders. So what I'm going to cover first is how to check for top dead center. You want to make sure that these pistons are at top dead center. So what you're going to do is take your dial indicator and you're going to put it. It's recommended to do it on this part of the pistons because those are the wrist pin sides and the piston does flop in the cylinder wall just a little bit. So it's more accurate to do it on th this sides than these sides. So how you find top dead center is honestly you can set the dial indicator to whatever i already have it on top dead center but i'm going to turn it backwards and show you guys again i know i don't have a proper barring tool so calm down okay don't come at me with any of that so i'm going to move it see how the needle moved backwards so you always want this set at top dead center in the direction of rotation so if you go too far you want to turn it back and then go again until it stops so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this engine to where it, this needle stops moving. That is the indication of top dead center. If you go too far and starts going back the other direction, turn it back and redo it until you get it right. So see, went too far. So I'm going to turn it back. I should have just told you guys how to do this because I had it perfect. And then all right. So right there is where it stopped turning. Okay. All right. So you get it set on the cylinder block and you zero this out. And then all you're going to do is I slide it just to make sure because if you pick it up and put it down like it can, I mean, if you're way off, you might not know. So what I do is I slide it along the block. And as you can see, eight thousandths. And then you're going to do the same thing over here. Make sure it's zeroed. Slide it. Eight thousandths. And you're going to repeat that. eight thousandths eight thousandths that is technically within spec and that is how you measure piston protrusion on actually any engine